Hi class, good morning. Welcome to our week 8 topic in technopreneurship, which is business plans. After the discussions, you are expected to identify the part sections of a business plan, right? An IT business plan. And then we also have to know the successful technopreneurs. The business plan is a written outline of the future of your company. So, it is a text that explains what are the plans to do and how you intend to do it. So, the business plan helps the company to execute a variety of tasks for those who write and read them. So, the investment-seeking businessman Use them to express their dream to potential investors. There are three primary parts of a business plan. We have the business concept, the market section, and then we also have the financial section. The business concept is where you discuss the industry. It includes the business structure, the particulars of the products or service, and how you plan to make your business a success. If we say market section, uh, this is which you describe and analyze the potential customers, who and where they are. So, what makes them buy or bought your products? Here, you are also described the competitions of the market and how you are position yourself to bear it on it. And if we say financial section, this contains the income and the cash flow statement, including the balance sheets, and other financial ratios, such as the break-even analysis, which can be a part with, that may require help from your accountant, and a good spreadsheet uh, super programs. The elements of business plan. We have the executive summary. Class executive summary, let the reader know what the company is and why it's going to be true. This includes the mission statements, the products or the service, and the basic details about the management team the staff and the locations of the organizations. It also provides the financial details and higher level development strategies that you plan to apply for funding. If we say business descriptions, these are used for business to provide with the specific details about the product. So you have to go to the problems that your company tackles in details. So you need to be precise and list the customers, the organizations, or the companies that the company plans to represent. Here, the company will detail the goods and services it will deliver, which can also include the pricing, the product lifespan, which the customer's benefits, and the other considerations that may fall under the segment, which include the development and manufacturing methods and any patents that the company may have, as well as the proprietary technologies where any information on research and development can also be included. Well, the market strategies, the firm wants a stronghold 
on the industry as well on its target matter. So this discuss the competitions and how it impacts the markets. So mean, meaning that it includes the strengths and the weaknesses. We also have the management and operation as one of the elements of business plan. Plus, this includes the organizational structure, the ownership detail, the management team profiles, and the number of employees. Except in a very small companies or businesses and sole proprietorship, this can provide a detailed overview of who is doing and what is your company business, which includes the background information of the key players. What are the backgrounds of the management team and the directors? What does uh, each team member bring for the business? And what are the team's previous successes in the new ventures? How does the management team for a cohesive unit which can work efficiently together? Opportunity costs, which does the team have um, any highly skilled professionals? Can the team work together as a unit? What management and the leader principles will the team employ? And does the team reflect that it has a good looking knowledge of the market. We also have the design and development plan wherein it explains how the business can develop and maintain their client and how it plans to reach out the market. So this ensures that a consistent distribution system must be established which describes the product as well as the detail as you can. So if possible, you need to have the prototype of your products or service, which show how these products and service be used by the customer. So you have to explain the requirements of producing the products. How about the market sales? This explains how you can identify and build the customers by identifying the marketing and sales strategies which discuss the communication plan for marketing. For sales, which concentrates on how are you going to manage the sales and how you train any outside help. And what are the strategies you are going to use to find or retain and convert the leads? And if we say financial factors, the company will have the strategic analysis and the forecast in order to retain the group reading the business plan, wherein the final statements, the balance sheets, and other financial reports can be provided for form businesses so the new enterprises can provide goals for the first few years of the company and any future investors so any good business needs a uh, budget in place so it includes the cost related to personnel the growth the production the marketing and any other business uh, related expenses it is a safe place to provide the financial statements, the cash flows, and the balance sheets that details the assets and the liabilities. So when you, when you are searching for funding, this section is important and must be up-to-date, accurate, and informative as possible. So in addition to the elements of business plans, so... We should also have a cover page, the title page, and the table of contents for presenting a business plan. Planning as a process. The business plan is not an abstract. It is an not uninformative. 
it is not theoretical. It is a document that convincingly demonstrates that business can sell enough of its products and services to make a satisfactory uh, profit. So we have the different use of the business plan. So we have defined and fixed objectives. Number two is to create regular business reviews and course direction. We also have to support the loan application to define agreements between partners to set a value on a business for sale or legal purposes to evaluate a new product line promotion or expansion and finally to define a new business technopreneurs so these are the well-known technopreneurs at all time a technopreneur starts with his company with nothing but a brainstorming idea. He describes the existing strategies and explores some new ideas to do something special. Plus, the individual engaged in the technology entrepreneurship which creates the products or service that uses the technical technologies to change the way things are to be done in the most convenient way. So, one of the well-known technopreneurs is Elon Musk. Elon Musk is, uh, um, has been regarded as the tech geeks, who is the CEO of the PayPal, SpaceX, and Tesla. Further, the Elon Musk is also known as the disruptor, and he has discarded the misconceptions that the only best way to cut the business cost is the outsourcing. Elon Musk always rushing a group of technopreneurs who love to take this risk. And then we also have Bill Gates, who is the founder and owner of the award-winning uh, firm at all time, which is the Microsoft. But we never thought we have to never forget the late uh, Steve Jobs. Of course, uh, Steve Jobs names the Pirates of the Silicon uh, Valley that give him a title of the Technopreneur. He has the biographical film about the man that showcases the real picture of the technology that we have today. So it involves all the creative actions which is involved in building up the global corporate empire, which is the Steve Jobs Apple Computer Corporation. We also have Orlando Vella who was appointed as the Chief Wireless Advisor of the SMART. We also have just Dado Dado um, Badatao. He was the popular for having invented the two of the foundation technologies in personal computers. We have the chipset and the graphic acceleration architecture. So at present, he is partnership in Tallwood uh, Venture Capital, which is a venture firm that focuses on the semiconductor technology solutions for computing, communication, and consumer platforms. We also have Joey Gurango, which is the CEO of Gurango Software. Plus, if we say Gurango Software, it is the global provider of the human capital management solution it is hailed as the most successful microsoft dynamic partners in the philippines we also have joey conception joey conception with the help of the other businessman the go negotio was born the go negotio which provides the seminars for livelihood trainings pamphlets, TV programs, books, 
which consists of the knowledge to establish their own businesses. One of the well-known technopreneur is Leandro Leviste. He was only 23, 23 years old when he founded the Solar Philippines. The company provides the solar power in the business uh, place. He was able to build the solar farms and the rooftop panel system. We also have Raymond Dracasa. He has been the chief operating officer and the treasurer of the Surpass Incorporated since November 2001. He is responsible for the overall business operations of the Surpass. This includes the career relationship management. We also have the marketing, the product design. We also have the profit and loss responsibility for the core services, which also part of the original development team of IAYALA, which built the first uh, wireless application protocol or the WAP in the Philippines. So he has been the director of the Surface Incorporated since 2001. And then we also have the Winson Damarillo. He is a proven a serial entrepreneur with a track record of building the successful technology startups. What are the main focus of the technopreneurs? So the main areas on which the entrepreneur, uh, technopreneurs needs to focus on class are the high-tech ventures in ICT, the internet, the life services, the electronics, and the biotech. We also have the service firm where the main mission is technology. And then we also have the signing of the high-tech products such as the computer hardware or devices. And finally, the use of technology in the delivery of the normal business activities. Plus, these are the suggested readings for this uh, week lecture. So kindly visit the site for IT business plan, business plan examples, and the top four business plan examples. And these are the references that we use for week eight lecture, uh, please visit those sites, read the articles. Thank you and good day.